our God, the Almighty, reigns. Let us rejoice and shout for joy, giving God the glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Faithful one, whose word is life, come with saving power to free our praise, inspire our prayer, and shape our lives. For the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We sing our first hymn, We Love the Place, O God. eternal. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Now if I do what I do not want, I agree that the law is good. But in fact, it is no longer I that do it, 
but sin that dwells within me. For I know that nothing good dwells within me, that is, in my flesh. I can will what is right, but I cannot do it. For I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do not want is what I do. Now, if I do what I do not want, it is no longer I that do it, but sin that dwells within me. So I find it to be a law that when I want to do what is good, evil lies close at hand. For I delight in the law of God, in my inmost self. But I see in my members another law, at war with the law of my mind, making me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. Wretched man that I am, who will rescue me from this body of death? Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We wailed, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. At that time Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent, and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and any one to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. This morning's reflection has been prepared for us by the Reverend Alma Organ. I enjoyed the beginning of lockdown, a time to relax and unwind. No need to watch the clock as I tried to shoehorn 30 hours work into a 24-hour day. There were no more meetings to have to rush to. I could concentrate on being a wife and a mother and run the house rather than trying to fit them in between other things. I have experimented with recipes and taken up hobbies that I had previously enjoyed, such as embroidery, candle making and gardening. After four weeks, I became weary of each day being the same, and even forgot which day of the week it was. I missed meeting people, especially friends and members of my family. It was then I was glad to draw upon the comforting and reassuring words of Jesus. Come to me, all who are weary, and I will give you rest. In these changing and uncertain times, Jesus is our constant companion, 
and we can trust and rest in him. Let us remember before God all those who are feeling weary, afraid, depressed and without hope. We pray that they may come to Jesus for rest. If we know somebody in this situation, perhaps we can encourage them to take up Jesus' promise. Our reading from Romans reminds me that I get weary of trying to do and say the right thing, as I always seem to put my foot in it and my good intentions go astray. God knows our weaknesses as he created us, but we are still precious to him. Jesus died to take away our guilt and weariness. All we have to do is to ask for his forgiveness and receive his rest. Amen. We sing our next hymn, I Heard the Voice of Jesus Say. power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Lord, we pray for your church, scattered throughout the world. Send your blessing on John, our Bishop, and Martin, Bishop of Dudley. In the wider church, we pray for the Diocese of St Albans, for Bishop Allen, and in Linköping in Sweden, Bishop Martin. We remember today all who would have been ordained this weekend to serve our diocese, that their disappointment and frustration 
may be turned into an extended retreat in which they meet more closely with you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, as lockdown eases, we rejoice that we are now able to gather in our Abbey Church and St Mary's Wick for public worship, that we may glorify your name, hear your word and celebrate the sacraments once again. We think especially of those who aren't able to join us at this present time because they are shielding or fearful of the virus. May they be assured that we are all part of the one body of Christ, whether worshipping together or at home and online. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we bring before you the leaders of the nations, in particular Elizabeth, our Queen. Give to them wisdom in the decisions that they make and equip them with your grace to serve their peoples. We pray for the work of international agencies, for the United Nations and World Health Organization, that they may foster a spirit of international cooperation and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, as we remember the anniversary of the establishment of the National Health Service, we give thanks for this great national treasure that provides for our health and well-being, for the generosity of those who work tirelessly within it, especially through the darkest days of the pandemic. May the National Health Service continue to be part of the bedrock of our society, receiving the necessary resources that it needs to meet the challenges of a changing society. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we bring before you all who work in our town and villages, for shops and businesses reopening after lockdown. We thank you for the work that they do in our community, asking that their businesses will thrive in a new economic climate. May you bring support and hope to those who have lost their jobs, that will assure them of their worth and dignity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, bring comfort to all who are sick in body, mind or spirit. May Christ, the great physician, bring them his healing his love and his peace. We pray especially for all who are still suffering from COVID-19. We pray for those who feel weary and are heavy burdened with life, that they may be able to receive the gentle rest to our souls that Christ alone can give. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all who have departed this world, that they may enter into your eternal rest and be welcomed into your loving arms. Give your comfort to those who mourn, and grant to them the hope of everlasting life through Jesus Christ, who died and rose again. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, 
accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We sing our final hymn, Lord of the Dance. to our feet and a light to our paths and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Father, from whom every family in earth and heaven receives its name. Strengthen you with his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, and that knowing his love, broad and long, deep and high, beyond our knowledge, you may be filled with all the fullness of God and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.